Hello and welcome to the CS Cards video tutorial. My name is Alex, and in this video we're going to learn more about administrators in general, types of administrators, and how to distribute privileges among them. Let's begin! By default, CS Card has the following types of user accounts – administrators and customers. Today we speak about administrators only. Administrators can log into both the storefront and the admin panel. Depending on their privileges, administrators can view and manage the content and configure the settings. Here we have the root administrator. This administrator has all privileges to control the store. Now let's add a new administrator user. Click the plus button to open a new page, enter email and make up a password. This data is used to log into the store. You can exempt a user from taxes and set a default language for them. Specify personal information if it is necessary and click Create. Two tabs will appear on the page after that – User Groups and API Access. We switch to User Groups tab and see that we have two options – the Administrator group and the Order Management group. We choose Order Management for our new administrator. Provide your administrator with API access if it is required. API connects your store with third-party software. Don't forget to notify a user about new responsibilities and click Create to finish the process. What's next? Privileges. Privileges in CS Card are set through user group settings. So we go to the user groups page and see that there are two administrator groups – administrators and order managers. Let's set privileges for order managers. We click on the group name, in the open pop-up window switch to the Privileges tab and tick privileges that correspond to the purpose of the user group. Click Save to finish the process. Now let's take a look at the admin panel from the point of view of our new manager. We sign out from the admin panel, enter email and password of a manager and click Sign in. As we can see, some buttons and features are unavailable since the manager doesn't have an access to them. And almost all features left are related to order management. And that's how we set privileges for administrators and delegate responsibilities to employees. Remember that privileges are set through user groups. If you have any questions, you can ask them in the comments section below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next CSCART videos.